I enjoy each season. Uh, I, I get frustrated. I, I get tired. There's freedom in hard work, and uh, and I enjoy being a part of that. I, I enjoy um, being a part of a, a legacy. My family has always farmed, and, and uh, uh, I get to continue that. Um, I get to get up every morning and do what I love to do. I've been farming since 1993. Um, I farm cotton and peanuts mostly. Um, I do some wheat and milo uh, on certain years. Of course we do show steers, but that's uh, the majority of, of what we grow. I can remember uh, being a, a little kid, maybe seven or eight, and uh, riding in a tractor with my dad, planting. And uh, after my parents passed, my, my aunt and uncle suing GW Deal, uh, they brought me and my two brothers here and raised us here. And I can remember uh, 12, 13 years old being out in the field with GW and Tony, you know, digging in the dirt, uh, just trying to set the planter perfect those those little minute changes and just watching uh, watching those guys and and the pride that they took with what they were doing my dad farmed till i was about 10 11 he had to get out so from then on i was like i'm never marrying a farmer and here i married a farmer so i do know wholeheartedly three things he loves God, he loves his three girls, and he loves his land, and he he shows us the pride and dedication and the hard work. One of my favorite things about my dad being a farmer is getting to go ride the cotton stripper with him, and then in the summer when he's fixing pivots or something, usually we can get away with going and hanging out with him. I kind of like this time of year because Whenever I wake up, he's here, and then whenever I'm going to bed, he's here. We have a lot of fun uh, when they get to go. Uh, Not just go, but when we moved out here, we lived in Brownfield and he farmed here, we never saw him. And then when we moved out here, I'd look up and the girls, then that's why I don't have any anything on the windows, is because they would just go out there, they'd see him pull up and they just head straight out there to do whatever he was doing just to be with him, so. Stock shows are, it's a its a big part of our family. Uh, <laughs> that we didn't want part of, or we didn't think we <laughs> needed a part of. <laughs> yeah, I told everyone my kids would never show, and, uh, and here we are, um, I guess, as involved in it as you can be. There, almost every show, Dad would go down with us, set up all our stalls, watch us in showmanship, make sure everything was good, and we'd drive back here, spray all night, drive back to the show just to watch us show. Um, Seems like we're always in three different vehicles uh, everywhere we go, but it it uh, it's just how we have to balance it out to get those things that we're responsible for to take care of everything and and still get to do the shows. And and uh, Lindsay's our she's our rock. You know, as she gets the phone call, uh, drop what you're doing. I need you to pick up parts and 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 bring them to me. Or uh, I'm broke down. Can you stop what you're doing and come get me right now? Or she keeps the girls going and go into what they need to go to and, and keeps our calendar and lets us all know where we're supposed to be and what we've got going. And we love what they love and they're, they're happy doing what they love and they're only little for so long and so we're gonna run with the chaos and enjoy every minute of it because they'll be grown up real fast. And then like she says we conclude what we're all doing and we come back here for night and and, uh, and have a meal and, and that's kind of one of my favorite times I guess is when we all get home and talk about what we've all done and so it's us four as a family I mean we have each other and it, that's what it's all about I've been very blessed in my life from the time I was a young man uh, to be raised by my aunt and uncle, to be raised on the farm. Uh, God has always taken care of me. He's always taken care of, of uh, putting good people in my life, um, to be mentored by 
someone like GW Deal and Tony Deal uh, is, is an amazing thing. But not just that, the community that we grew up in, uh, the community of the Wellman area of Terry County, uh, you won't find a better place to grow up. Uh, good family men, good farmers, uh, good men of God. Uh, and, and they didn't even know they were mentoring me. And, and we don't realize uh, who's watching sometimes, but uh, if, if every young man could grow up with those kind of mentors, this world would be a completely different place. So uh, from that to getting to marry a strong woman, a, a godly woman, someone uh, that I couldn't be more proud of her uh, example for my daughters and then to, to have two daughters that uh, we're just a tight family and, and we do everything together, we share everything and uh, the love that we give to them and they give back to us is uh, something like we've never never known, never experienced and uh, so we're just very blessed. God's taking care of us. We're, we're proud to be from this community, uh, proud to do what we do for a living and, and hope to continue to do it the rest of our lives. So. We like to call us the Harlem Farms and um, we're very proud of that. We're very proud of that. We're proud to have the last name.